Psalm 119, day 25, seven times a day. We'll be reading verses 161 through 168. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous rules. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Our thoughts for today center around verse 164. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous rules. 86,400. That's how many seconds there are in a day. Go ahead, do the math. 60 times 60 times 24. Every person has the same amount of time in a day. 24 hours in a day, 168 hours in a week. The same is true for each of us. But have you ever noticed that some people have the ability to accomplish so much more than others? It's not because they have more time than other people. We've already established that all have the same amount of time. There may be a number of reasons why this is true. Perhaps some are more motivated or better organized, or perhaps have developed better habits. We established a couple of days ago that rising early in the morning is a good habit to develop. Well, that's well and good for spiritual health. But you may ask the question, how does anyone get things done when they are so busy praying and praising God? If David is our author and he is king, where does the leader of a kingdom find time in a busy schedule to praise God seven times a day? Within Psalm 119, we have seen the extraordinary efforts he has made to praise, pray, meditate, and dwell on God's Word. Verse 62 tells us, At midnight I rise to praise you because of your righteous rules. Verse 147, I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your words. The great reformer Martin Luther has often been attributed to this quote, I have so much to do that if I didn't spend at least three hours a day in prayer, I would never get it all done. Many of us in the crucible of our trials and in need of more time sacrifice the precious moments we spend in prayer to God or, or reading and studying His Word, thinking that we shall make gains therein. In reality, we have lost one of the most valuable tools in fighting the foe. But seven times? Really? According to R.A. Torrey, author of The Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, he quotes a certain Rabbi Solomon that seven times was the actual number, twice in the morning before reading the Decalogue and once after, twice in the evening before the same reading and twice after. Is it unreasonable to take time out of our busy days to praise God seven times? Perhaps a good read might be the 148th Psalm wherein we find Everything under heaven given the command to praise God. Angels, the sun and moon and stars, the highest heaven and the waters above the heavens. Then he goes on to name aspects of everything under creation that shall give praise, including fire and snow and hail and mist, kings and all peoples, princes and all rulers, young men and maidens, old men and children. And in verse 13 writes, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. There are times in the New Testament that the writers simply stop in the middle of their letters and give praise to God. These are known as doxologies. Paul wrote in Romans chapter 16 and verse 27, To the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Amen. He writes in Ephesians chapter 3 and verses 20 and 21, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to Him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Jude writes, Now to Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of His glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now, and forever. 
Amen. Can you find time in your busy day to praise God? And Lord willing, we'll meet again here tomorrow.